Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick video explaining how to add Temporal Beacon to your party or raid frames with LVUI. I'll post links below to the LVUI download as well as my profile if you want to import it. First thing we need is the spell ID, so you can cast it and then hover over the spell, either that or the icon. We see the ID is 400735. We're now going to pull up the LVUI settings, go to Unit Frames, go to Group Units tab, and then make sure you are on the Party tab. Uh, so here I swap back and forth just to show you. We're then going to go down to Buffs, enable it, and we are now going to change the anchor point from left to right because for some reason it's default left, it's pushed off the screen. Um, at the bottom of this tab, there is a filter priority. So the filter is what we're going to add our spell ID to. On the left, we go to the Filters tab. We select the filter, which in this case, I believe it's Turtle Buffs by default. And you can see there is an Add Spell ID. There, we're going to type in the correct spell ID, which I screw up here. <laughs> uh, I did 375. So, you know, 400735, hit OK, and boom, you see some Temporal Beacon show up. And that's it. Um, from here, you can kind of customize it. I'm going to show you what it looks like by default with how we just showed it. On the right of the party frame, you can see the temporal beacon icon. Um, it's a little small, and it's off to the side. Especially for raid frames, you want it not overlapping with other raid frames, so we're going to go back and edit. Uh, at the top of the buffs tab, you can see X offset, and moving that, you can position it more onto the party frame itself. And then the size override allows you to increase the size uh, from small to much larger if you want. This looks more like how I have my raid frames in my videos. Uh, the party frames, I haven't set them up like this uh, exactly, but how you would enable it for the raid is the same thing. Instead of going to the party tab, you go to the raid one tab, go to buffs, enable the buffs. You're going to then go down and change the anchor to whatever it needs to be, in this case probably right, and then you can kind of change the offset from there. Uh, and it's already using the turtle buffs filter, so you don't need to add it again. In this video, I wasn't in a raid group, so I can't show you the frames, how they look in my other videos. Uh, I try to use the default display frames in LVI, and obviously it's showing way too much stuff. So if you want to try this out, try this in your BFD run before everybody gets there. Uh, you can make these changes to your profile, or if you want, I'm going to show you how to import a profile in LVI right now. Before we get to that, if you guys like the videos, like, subscribe would be a huge help. I'm trying to get as many subscribers as possible, pump those numbers up. The link to my profile will be below in the paste it link, or just paste it. Uh, and it's just a massive block of text. How you import is go to LVI. On the left, go to the Profiles tab. At the top, go to the Import tab, and take that massive block of text and uh, paste it in there. Um, it's going to then allow you to uh, import with the import button there, and then if it conflicts with the name or whatever, name it whatever you want, hit accept, and then it should pull in, I believe, my entire profile. Um, if it doesn't bring in my filters, then you might have to add the spell ID again. I'm not super sure on this one. Um, but from what I can tell, I think it does add it. And uh, there you have it. That's how you get the temporal beacon added to your party or raid frames. Um, hope you guys are having a good time with Season of Discovery. I'm going to keep making these videos. My rogue just hit 25, did my first BFD run. I'm having a ton of fun. Hope you guys are too, and I will see you in the next one.